Hi, my name is Eric and I'm the head builder here at KZG Golf and today I want to tell you a little bit about how I build golf clubs. So I want to take you on a tour of what I do when I build your club. Believe it or not, when these head comes to us, they're not all the same weight. So the first thing I have to do is sort them by weight. I call it weight sorting. Each one of these club heads, to be perfect for a fit, need to be in 7 gram increments. If not, you'll see different performances from every club in your bag. To get the weight perfect, sometimes I have to drill weight out or I have to add weight to it to give it that perfect balance of that seven grams between each club. Shafts are no different. They come to us imperfect. It's my job to find the perfect position where the shaft was put together. If it's not, it can cause your club to perform poorly. My job is to make sure they all match. The first thing I'm going to do is find out where the spine is on the shaft. And I'm going to make sure they align properly when I put the heads on. Then I want to make sure the actual head is matched with the head. I want to put the light shaft with the lightest head throughout the whole set to give it consistent performance from the wedge to the driver. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the flex of the shaft. Because again, I hate to say it, they're all different. So what I do is I test the CPMs or cycles per minute before I build a club. And to do this, I use a shaft frequency meter that will tell me the exact flex of this shaft. Okay, if I build a 3 iron to a 4 iron to a 5 iron, they all go in 4 CPM increments. That's not what happens in the industry. They just build the clubs. They don't care if it's frequency matched or not. And, but we make sure that they match in 4 CPM increments. This is why club fitting is really an art, because you can't just take any head and glue it onto any shaft and then stick on a grip and do this throughout your set and expect a consistent performing club. I take it from the head, the shaft, even the epoxy as well as the grip is being weighed so that every club is perfectly matched and after every club is put together, I'm going to check it again and make sure they match throughout the whole set. So the last thing I do is to ensure that your set flows from the alignment of the grip right down to the labels of the shaft. So when you pull, whether you pull out a pitching wedge or a seven iron, it looks and feels exactly the same. But more importantly, it performs the same. And that's why custom club building is an art. Thanks for joining me. My name is Eric and I'm the head builder here at KZG Golf.